He leans a little closer again. I can't help but let my gaze wander in another direction. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome back to uh, Fujiwara Bittersweet. And I think we are going back from beach trip, yeah? And our beach trip ends a few hours later with all of us building a whole sand village together. So. I think Aya was getting hit on by some guys. Haru wants to help her, but Haru is too weak, so Yuta helps them. And yeah, I think Haru start working out, maybe. September, September 18. Summer passed faster than I thought, mostly because Ichigo wanted to hang out every day, and now it's time to go back to school. Oh really? No, I didn't have time to finish all my assignments. The teachers will be so mad at me. Finally, I didn't have time to do them either, right? I could barely find time to do them. My actual, but I actually did complete the summer homework. Thanks to you, I r really thought I'd never be able to finish in time. <laughs> what? Right now, even though we hung out every day. Hi you go to supplementary classes with me, right? I like you, I'm a diligent person and finished my homework a while ago. Wow, a while ago? No way with, with being busy at your part-time job and working out every day, how? I just told you I'm diligent. <laughs> uh, how are your workouts going, by the way? It was really hard at first, but I, but I thought I'd pass out several times the first few days sand stuff rough it was but i'm getting used to it i still have some aches in my arms though your arms do look more defined the worst were the abs but strangely strangely those don't hurt anymore okay oh did you build some solid ones I instinctively reach my hand toward him and poke his stomach with my fingers. Whoa, you did! He shrugs in surprise and blushes. Don't touch it, it's so casual, it tickles. <laughs> so, Haru was so afraid of building muscles because he doesn't want to look big like, like bodybuilders. But he wants to be strong. Think to protect Aya. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. He turns his head, trying to hide his embarrassment. It's okay. Just next time, tell me when you're going to do that kind of thing, please. <laughs> okay. We'll see you there next time, huh? Oh, shut your mouth. He looks at me again. Was it okay? Uh, I guess. I don't really know a lot about apps and working out, so... I see. Let me touch and I'll tell you if it's about hiking. I don't care about your opinion. <gasps> Ooh, so cold. Hey, rude! But does that mean that you only want eye touching you all the over perv? Can you stop with your stupid jokes? It's just that your opinion will be irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just shut up, Ichigo. Your irrelevance just go away already. I can feel it and give feedback if you want. <laughs> why everyone want to? Why everyone wants to touch? Uh, Haru's abs. Come on. Don't touch me either. Oh, okay. See, you only you only want I to touch you. Leave me alone already. Yes, yes. Anyway, you'll probably be fine for the for the sports festival, yeah? I guess. Who cares about a sports festival when there's something more exciting like you know, the school trip? Itching on my ears. Oopsie yes sir, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. You tell you're loud, careful if you 
don't want people to look at you suspiciously. He looked around as he starts stretching his back and lowering his voice. Yeah, right, but I can't help it, jeez. Being around you is dangerous, guys. My cover is more and more at risk in school. Ha ha ha. Why are you so excited for the school trip anyway? Don't know, it's just sounds fun and I can't wait to go with you guys, with friends. <laughs> Can you just go on trips with the guys we saw with you at the arcade? We go on trips sometimes, but I mean, like, you know, going with friends from school who actually know me? When you put it like that, I think I can relate, yes. I don't want to go go on trips that much with them though, since it might be troublesome. Troublesome? Why? Can you guys keep a secret? No, we cannot. We, can't. we, we, we will spill it. You apparently can't yourself. <laughs> because they trust me and I trust you. If they trust me, then they trust you. What, what do you mean? <laughs> That's a weird logic, but whatever. Remember the one with the face mask and the hoodie? How could we forget about him? He was worse than Haru when it comes to hiding skin. Like, even his eyes were covered by his bangs. Well, that guy is actually. Ida beckons us to get closer and whispers. Yo-Yo Rin. Who's Yo-Yo Rin? Say what? Yo-Yo Rin? Shh! Damn it, did you go my ears? What your burst? You startled me. Oh my god, don't tell me you two don't know who Yo-Yo Ren is. Why should I care exactly? What should he care? Uh, sorry, I don't. You guys are being hopeless. I can't believe without Yo-Yo Ren. So, who is he? Show some respect. He's the voice of my top three current fictional husbands. He is a dead family, but he's doing it a little more with him. Yeah, that's friend! Shh! Seriously, Ichigo, I don't want people to know about this. Yes, right, I'm sorry. Oh my god! Ahem. <clears throat> yes, I did my mother. Thanks. <laughs> Look at you, this face. Just shut up, you dumb dumb. I wonder, does that guy voice Yoi too? Yep. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not sure I want to hear about the details. <laughs> yeah. Can we meet? Can we talk to him? What do I remember? Well, you're my friend, so you'll see him again eventually. I feel so like I feel powerful. And I can get free tickets and goodies from the events he participates in whenever you ask for it. Oh, I'm never gonna cry, so I'm gonna cry in the universe. And you surfaced. How did you meet him? How did you meet him though, Tom Chris? I met Yo Yo Rin and other guy back in elementary school. The three of us lived in the same city when I was younger, and now they come to visit me here from time to time. Back then, my life wasn't really happy, and I had a sick, a secret base where I liked to hide. But one day, two two boys were playing near it without knowing it. I recognized them from my school. Yayorin was my classmate, and the other one was in the class next to ours. I was afraid that they might discover my secret base, so I casually started to talk and play with them so to discreetly lead them elsewhere. Some time passed and we realized we liked the same anime and manga, and I decided that we were friends enough for them to know my base which became our official HQ. We often play there with action figures and all. Sometimes we came up with stories from scratch. Most of the time I was the one coming up with an original setting, but I like to draw concepts and characters too. Yoyorin was particularly good at voicing the characters and the other guy was the one who could always find flaws in my story and, other, and offer feedback. It was so much fun playing like that. And I don't know if you guys had this in elementary school too, but we had a day dedicated to thinking about what we would like to do when we grow up. When we grew up. 
It didn't take long for us to decide what we wanted to do. I wanted to be a mangaka. The other guy said it might be interesting being an editor. And Yuyurin declared, Then I'll become a voice actor to voice your works when they turn into anime. Oh, I remember reading that one of my Yuyurin interviews. Man, I think you guys are better. Ha 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 ha. I remember the first video he posted with his voice. It was like last year and he said the graphics were done by one of his friends. Was it you by any chance? Yep. No way you wouldn't have said to you that video that he tried to get some attention. I know and I'm proud of it. It kind of like I contributed to his debut. You totally did. But wait, you said he's going, he's doing adult content too. He's still a minor, so isn't that illegal? I mean, in fact, he's doing adult content on the side to build a demo reel while using an, another pseudonym. And he does that during his free time, so he isn't paid for it. Oh, really? <clears throat> I'm not sure he told his company about that, but he plans to reveal it after high school. <laughs> Playing it safe, huh? Wouldn't he get in trouble because of that? Maybe, I'm not sure. Officially, he's paid to voice side characters in huge productions for all ages as a part-time job. But he does mature content at home, and not a lot of people are aware of that. Hmm, it's a bit like Ichigo when he's drawing her BL stuff then. <laughs> yeah, I think we can say something like that. But voicing Yahweh yeah, as a hobby of sorts is a bit weird. I don't think so. I mean, he just said it's to build a demo reel, so it kind of makes sense. Yep, and he doesn't just do yaoi st stuff, he also does shonen, shoujo, in fact, he has pretty large range of roles in his unofficial video channel. His work is really good, you should give it a listen guys, but that's special for the BL possible. I don't know. I will, I'm curious now. But we are deviating from the initial topic. Yeah, the school trip, I can't wait. Have you guys already packed your things? Yep. Almost. Haru stands up and digs into his bag. Anyway, I need to return these books to the library. Okay, see ya! I stand up as well and follow him to the corridor. What are you doing? I feel like following you around. Why? Just because. I'm just going to return books, nothing fun, you know. Yeah, but I've never had the opportunity to see what the school library is like, so I'm going with you. Or does it bother you? No, I have nothing against it. Great, then. The school library is a decent size, divided into two areas. One space consisted of bookshelves, and the other one is reserved for people who want to study in a quiet environment. Haru returns his book to the person in charge of the reception desk and walks toward one of the bookshelves. Oh, you're not just returning them and leaving? No, I thought maybe I could do some research on the plants we might see in the mount mountains. I think I'll, it'll motivate me to go on this trip and appreciate it a bit more. He glances around while, look, while walking a few steps forward, then sighs. What's wrong? He points in the direction of the shelves above us in an annoyed way. The book I want. I'm too short to grab it. <laughs> That's so cute. Let's just get a stool then. The thing is, I'm afraid of heights. Even if it's just a chair or stool, I instantly get dizzy i wonder why why though is there some kind of traumatic experience or is just how she is how he is I, had, I don't know and i miss my my university library it was really nice it was big and spacious and it has like the reading area 
I didn't get to go there that much because because just because I don't know why. <laughs> but are you okay with the stairs and stages? It's not exactly the same, so yeah, I'm fine with those. Okay, I'll grab it for you. It's okay, I can just. Oh come on! I already told you that you can rely on me sometimes. Ah, uh, fine. I take this tool and step on it, then hand the book to Haru and start to go down. But I awkwardly miss a step before unfortunately falling flat on the ground. <laughs> Haya! Haru immediately crouches down, concerned. I'm okay. Don't worry. Or not. A sharp pain runs. Through my leg as soon as I try to get up, and prevents me from standing correctly. Ow! What's wrong? It hurts. I can't get up. I'm going to call the nurse or a teacher. Don't try to move around. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I waited a few minutes before I was dragged to the infirmary. Then the hospital. Really? My ankle was twisted and I got a mild sprain. After the doctors examined and treated me, I was told to not move around too much for two weeks, which ob obviously means no school trip for me. Really? Wow, I wonder how the story goes then. Because I, I thought, I thought uh, Haru gonna confess in the school trip because you know what's the name again the big guy uh ken no i don't know i forgot that guy from the anime club confessed to ichigo in school trip so i thought uh haru gonna confess to aya in the school trip but aya cannot go because she twisted her ankle and sprained. Uh, okay. Uh, so, how are we gonna confess? <laughs> the next day. Dot dot dot. Where am I? Dot dot dot. I slowly open my eyes. All right, no school trip for me. <laughs> I look at my clock and sighs, frustrated. I wonder if the of, I wonder if the others are still on the bus. I bet they're having plenty of fun. I close my eyes again when I notice a soft noise outside, like something being thrown against the window. Curious, I look down outside the window and open it, gasping in surprise. Ichigo, Yuta, and Haru are there waving at me. Okay. Hi! Thank goodness I thought you were dead since nobody responded to the doorbell. What are you guys doing here? Obviously checking on you. You have stop questions sometimes. Anyway, can you drop your keys down here? Ah, uh, yes. I dig into my bag and toss my keys to Ichigo who su su surpri surprisingly catches them effortlessly. Okay. We're here! Yeah, I can see that, but why? To check on you and... She elbows Haru, winking at him. I felt responsible for what happened to you and decided not to go on the trip. It would have been less fun without you two around, so I skipped too. And since plans changed for the three of you, they changed for me too. What's the point of me going anymore if none of you are going? I was looking forward to being with you guys. So here we are! Are you guys, are you going to be in trouble for this? I'll take all responsibility since I'm a lazy bum. The teachers will believe me if I say that I didn't hear a clock and woke up too late, which is actually true. Ha! <laughs> Don't be proud of that. Well, I plan to go, not to go from the start, so I'll just pretend that I want to check on Ichigo on the way and we miss the bus. For once, her laziness will be useful. I actually showed up at school in time to catch the bus, but used my role at, as class representative and pretended to go check on the 
latecomers to skip the trip too. What do you mean? I felt guilty, so I did go on. Did go and check on Ichigo to feel better about my life. Then I called the teachers that she was sick and needed help. Honestly, she looked like a zombie when she opened her door, so I wasn't too far from the truth. Hey, what? So Yuta did show up, and then he did, and then he felt bad because. He said he's gonna go check on Ichigo, so he actually go on check on Ichigo, and here he is. Okay. I also call called and told them that Haru was with me as well, and that we wouldn't make it in time for the departure. So we all have in a a common alibi for our crime. Guys, you are all so nice. Well, even if Haru was basically the only one who really wanted to check on me. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know that I was worried too. Yep, thanks. Anyway, you seem okay, so we should go. What? Already? Yes, already. But Ichigo cuts Yuta off, dragging him to the corridor, and almost shouts at me, a big smile to the face. See you later, Aya. Why are you making the face? Oh, she waves at me and exits the room, pulling Yuta outside. I turn to Haru and tilt my head to the side. Aren't you going to? No. An awkward silence slips between us, and I suddenly feel self-conscious. <gasps> Which one should I choose? Let's say first. Yes, yeah, save. And return, and then if if we get the wrong choice, we can just go back, right? Let's try with dot dot dot. Huh? Is that the wrong one? Wait 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 wait. Load. What what if we ask why? Oh. So it doesn't matter. There's no hard icon. Ah. I told you I feel I feel guilty. It's because of you, of me. You got hurt. If I said I didn't need help, you wouldn't have. Now it was honestly just an accident. It would have been our your fault if you planned for it to happen, which isn't the case. Am I right? Right, but still. You're so stubborn, and it's not like you—it's not like you to say things like that. You're right. I feel like I'm not really acting like myself since I stopped wearing girls' clothes. Mm, I don't think you really changed. Maybe the only one noticeable thing is that you're more more vulnerable, and you're voicing your doubts out loud. Okay. I don't know if it's really related to the fact you changed your appearance, though, but it surprises me that you are looking at it so illogically. Yes, sorry. Oh no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just noticed it. That's all. Does does it bother you? Would you want me to be less insecure? Or no? I mean, if it bothers you that much, girls. Don't really like insecure boys, right? I don't know. I guess it's about people taste. Some like them, some don't. Really, I was so sure that it was a fact that girls prefer confident, take charge men. I'm not sure about that, but again, it's a matter of taste. Hmm. Take Yuta for example. He doesn't exactly fit the image of a strong leader, but girls are all head over heels for him. Yuta again. <laughs> oh, our Haru is jealous. Why are you upset? I thought you you were friends. We are. It's just. Why did you pick him as an example? I don't know. He's the only one came to mind first, and you know I don't really have uh, any other friends besides you, Ichigo and Yuta. So, friends, yes. He bites his lip as 
He's trying to prevent himself from talking any further. Does he look more openly worried since he refilled his boy? How would I help him? Hey Haru, yes? Remember you don't have to struggle on your own. You can always tell us if something's wrong. And if it's a boy problem, now you have you also have Yuta. Yes, thank you, but what if it's a girl's problem? I'm sorry I'm not sure I understand what you mean. What I what if I need advice about the girl I love? The, the, the girl you love? Yeah, I'll, I'll try my best. Not sure I'm the best for that sort of topic though. You're the best for me. <laughs> yes, of course, because you're the girl. <laughs> you're the girl, Aya. Uh, he says that I'm uh, that in a firm voice looking me in the eyes and I can't help and I can't help but avoid his gaze. Why are you looking away? Quick, I need to find an excuse. Uh, your voice changed a bit compared to before. It surprised me. Oh, it's not a total lie. His voice actually is a bit deeper compared to before. But I can't tell him the truth and say that what he, and say that what he said sounded like a confession. Yes, thanks to puberty, I don't really like it either. Oh no, I like it. You still have a pretty voice. And why are you avoiding my gaze, pretending it's because of the change of my voice? <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first time you've noticed it. I uh. It does make you uncomfortable after all, doesn't it? No, not exactly. Not exactly, huh? <laughs> Alright. Is he upset? Words were while I speak them properly. <sighs> Don't look at me with that panic face. I'm not angry, just a bit annoy annoyed. Phew, glad to hear it, but really, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. He leans a little closer again. I can't help but let my gaze wander in another direction. Ooh. <laughs> How do you feel about it then? You're so close, you're so close, Haru. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. I, I don't know, uncomfortable isn't the right word. Ah, whew. He back off and tilts his head to the side. I see. Anyway, I'll sit over there and watch over you until your family comes back. Tell me if you need anything. No, that will be kind of awkward. Let's go play some games on ta in Takeshi's room. Alright. I open my brother's room and scan my surroundings. Then Haru suddenly stops. Hmm, is it really okay to enter without his permission? Why wouldn't it be? Because privacy? I heard boys often hide goods in their rooms. <laughs> goods. Girls too, you know. And no worries, he would be totally fine with it. If you say so. Come on, don't act like a quick scaredy cat. I promise he won't be angry. He hastily stepped inside and looks around. I doubt he would stumble on any stashaway goods in this mess at anyway, right? So what kind of game would you like to play? He has RPGs, fighting games, arcade games, platformers. He actually has a lot. What a nerd. Horror. Ooh, horror. Huh? Does he have horror games? Yeah, but perfect. It's one of my favorite genres. Haru takes a steep step, step forward the shelves, and I join him in a panic. Wait, wait. Are you sure you want to play a horror game? Because there are a, a lot more other than that. Like I don't know, cute point and click, for example. <laughs> he looks at me, and and the corner of his lips quirks up. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm totally fine with it. Ah. Oh. What are you smirking for? Oh, Haru is so cute. Look at him. I'm not. It must be your imagination. So let's see what we have here. He scans the shelves, then stops on the game I wanted to play the least. This one? <laughs> are you kidding me? That's the scariest one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Do you have a problem with it? N n no? <laughs> I don't want to admit that I'm scared as hell of that one. Let's play then. Uh, we start the game and we sit down on the floor against the bed. Uh, I almost forgot to turn off the lights. No! No, it's okay with the lights on. He chuckles and looks at me with amusement. Oh, look at him. This is the first time 
he's loving it like that i think yeah this is the first time i've seen that kind of look in his face i'm not sure if he's shown this face in yuta's read but i think it's new are you afraid after all fine i am wait you knew i did <laughs> that's mean i just kind of felt like teasing you sorry i'll choose something else i grab his sleeve and he's about to stand up and force him to sit back down it's okay let's just play it oh really are you sure yes he pushed the new game button and i i consciously get closer to him looks who's the scaredy cat just let's play already yes yes okay i think i'm gonna end episode here because i'm really sleepy if you cannot tell but i'm really sleepy <laughs> yeah so yeah i'm gonna end the episode here if you enjoyed it please leave a like comment and subscribe it helps the channel a lot and yeah do it like a thousand more times and we'll be good <laughs> and uh, quick announcement i guess i uh, i cannot upload as often i want to i think it's I can only up up upload around two videos in a week. So there's that. I hope you understand my situation. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video either way. Thank you so much for subscribing if you have. And please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.